Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode with Chai with Pie. Today I have some very special guests. They're going to share their amazing project with us. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them below as well. Um, but before we get started, if you're new around here, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you enjoy this content, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you can, go ahead and leave me a comment. That would really mean a lot to me. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much, Alexander, for joining us. I really appreciate that. If you don't mind, introduce yourself and your project for us. Uh, perfect. So my name is Alexander Franklin. I am a software engineer by trade. I have an associate's degree in software and database engineering. Spent time over the coronavirus pandemic during lockdowns and taught myself solidity development and blockchain engineering. Nice. I worked for projects before on call consulting for technical development and contract auditing, as well as actual contract creation. Yeah, I met the other team members, Scott and Aki, on a project that we were a part of previously. I was working as a technical consultant on, and they pitched me the idea of doing title. And I thought it was absolutely amazing. It's a really great use case we're trying to implement here and solve. So I had no qualms joining them as a the CTO and doing the blockchain development for them. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm. So would you want to tell us a little bit about when you heard about the project, what excited you the most? What about the project? So the big thing is the data and uh, NFTs, right? You know, I'll be honest, I've never been a big fan of traditional NFTs like you know, anyone can go into Microsoft Paint and draw, you know, a monkey and put it on OpenSea or PaintSwap. Or people can just copy something off of Twitter. You know, there's always these hashtags. I screenshot someone's NFT that they posted on there, right? So <laughs> yeah. the fact you can take NFTs and give them a real use case that's something that you can uh, transition to real life is absolutely fantastic. And that's the, the big thing that really caught me on here is the value you get from that here. That and the fact that as someone who's done software development, I know how much data is utilized on a daily basis and, you know, everything that goes into that, there's so much data that exists in the world that you're giving away for free just by doing simple things like accessing Google, Facebooking someone, sending an email to your parents, places like Google, Microsoft, take that and then send you personalized ads to your email address. Because even this story, I'm not sure you heard this, but this was in the States with Target, which is a, uh, like a major conglomerate chain of mm -hmm. uh, stores. They were able to tell that a person was pregnant before she was and her parents based on the search results that she had on searching on target.com. Wow. So it, it was really terrible. Like they sent coupons for like prenatal vitamins and baby clothes to the father of this girl. This girl's a teenager. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So you can see how well that kind of ended up here. We're trying to avoid these scenarios by giving people not only just full control of the data, but the rights to who gets access, how to monetize off of it here. So we are not giving out your data to these third parties and like, mm -hmm. oh, well, they're going to be giving you X, Y, and Z that you either don't want or don't need. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I think it's it's no longer a, just a conspiracy theory or anything that they're collecting data on you. I mean, at one point, it was kind of this like, oh, well, you know, I think they're doing this. I remember one of my first times being like, I just had this conversation with a friend and now I'm getting ads for it. Like, what is going on? There's something, you know, like they're listening, but there wasn't any way to know that for sure. Now, you know, for sure they are taking, oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Come on, Houdini, you can't be on here right now. I see oh. your furry friend. <laughs> yes, I, yes. I just it's put good. mine on the other side, but yeah. yeah. So data is very valuable. And, and you are being monetized. I mean, they are monetizing off of our data. And most people don't even realize that, right? Exactly. It, yeah. it's, it's been going on for years, like since the almost the inception of the internet back in the 90s, you know, people didn't have really big internet access in the 80s, even though it was kind of there. But once people were able to start freely browsing it, data was just, it was free to take for whoever wanted it here. And then you realize, you look at the profits these companies are making here, Google, makes $33 billion a year through Google's G Suite service, right? Microsoft uh, Office 365 is another 23 billion on top of that. And they're selling the data they get off of these to third parties. So they're making money on top of that. Mm -hmm. So 
it's just money on top of money that you should be having access to, not places like Google and Microsoft. Yeah, and if you want to give them access, you should be paid for that because they're collecting that for free right now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of where title comes in. So can you tell me a little bit where like title is trying to solve that problem or so, get more money in the pockets of the users? Yes. Yeah, so we're doing the data NFTs. So pretty much anything that you do on a regular basis, browse the internet, view Facebook, emails, documents, text, anything that you would normally utilize on a day-to-day -day basis could be made into an NFT. And what we're going to do here is allow people to bulk package these data sets that they have and sell them to third-party providers as an NFT. So a third-party provider may say, okay, we're looking for people that utilize um, this one service, right? And so this one service could be, you know, looking for X amount of people who have used on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, Thursdays, and they can buy these things directly from you to, um, through our platform. And this could be either through direct buying or through lending, which allows you to lend the data out so you have the access to revoke that uh, yeah. to directly back people, which is something you can't normally do with NFTs, or you can actually auction it off to the highest bidder, right? So okay. you happen to have, you know, let's say you had acquired NFT data for like Michael Jordan, for example, you know, you could go ahead and auction that off and somebody would probably pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars for real life information about Michael Jordan. Like, okay, uh -huh. he has this for breakfast or he likes this food or like that here, which, you know, you can see what people already pay for a, an ape that somebody made in Microsoft Paint. So using real data can certainly get lots of value coming from that. Okay. So if um, the NFTs is what people will be able to sell as their data. So how does Title tie everything together? And um, how does the company aspect of things work? Yeah, so our major focus here again is the NFTs. So from a profit standpoint, we take profits off the creation of NFTs and the sales of NFTs. This is similar to options like PaintSwap and OpenSea, where they take a small amount for gas to create the NFT. Polygon's main net, which is what we're using, it doesn't require a lot of gas fees. So you won't right. see a lot of that charge there. A lot of it's going to be coming from the actual sale of the NFTs, where we take somewhere between 0 0.1 to 0 0.5%. Very this is nominal. standard across uh, different apps here. I believe actually PaintSwap takes around 2% in additional gas fees on that here, but they're on Phantom. So the gas fees are a bit different with regards mm -hmm. to that here. The rest of the app services are going to be free to use, similar to like Google's G Suite. Like you don't have to pay them to use it. But if you're staking TDL token, you get access to additional features such as VPN services, actual uh, enhanced storage. So you may get, you know, five or six gigabytes free with the free portion. And then if you stake more, you can get access to 500 gigabytes or one terabyte or something along those lines. And then get access to additional features such as enhanced security on emails and other features that come with the actual browsing and utilization of the NFTs and the blockchain itself. Um, keep in mind as well, when you're utilizing the search engine and other aspects of our project, you're actually gonna get yielded title token. So if you're searching while connected in with your MetaMask or anything that's connected with Wallet Connect, you'll get TDL uh, yielded to your wallet, just doing your regular searches, stuff you're doing on a daily basis. So you get the benefits okay. from staking on that aspect and the additional features such as the VPN, the enhanced storage and so, on and so forth. Okay, so is there anything else that the TDL token will be used for as well as far as like, go is there a governance aspect to this? Governance aspect is something we had thought about in here because one of the things that we want to have here is people have access to who's actually getting that data right of course you can buy and sell to whoever here but there's ways we can utilize governance in a way to make it so certain entities will just never have access to anyone's data we can use for example the uh, dow service to say okay we don't want facebook to ever be able to purchase anything from our platform so we can block anything that's tied to facebook and say okay these people can no longer buy anything on our platform so that's something we are looking at with regards to here because we want to have people get full control over here. It's one thing to say, yeah, yeah we're just not going to sell it to you here, but that means that the people could still use the platform, right? So we want to make yeah. sure that people have the say on who's actually using that platform because we don't want them to have any access to that data whatsoever, regardless of if they're buying it or not. Yeah, makes sense. So is there a, is there a reason that you chose to go with the Nulls blockchain over, you know, Ethereum or something else? Part of the whole thing with Nulls, again, the staking SEO is just fantastic. Yeah. You know, the fact that you can stake that in there and it's a long-term thing. So you can go ahead and move Nulls to something else you want to go put something in else, you can bring it back to our thing, which is fantastic. I know some people that have already done that, right? Mm -hmm. They've taken some on ours, they got to token out, like, okay, I'm good with this, put it into something else here. So that part is good. But also the ease of use and the fast transaction speed. I've had no issues utilizing Nulls blockchain for our service. 
which is great when we're pairing it with Polygon, which is a layer two on Ethereum, which is already fast to begin with. So now we got two fast chains that can interact with each other. And of course, with our partnership we have with Nerve Network, we're actually on 12 separate blockchains. So, you know, we have the BNB, the Ethereum, the AVAX, we have all that on there. In long term, we're actually going to set up pools on each of those, right? So that people can buy with whatever chain they have okay. on them, right? As easy as possible for people to utilize our service. Oh, that's, that's really nice. I did not realize that. So learn something new. Very cool. Um, so it, how would somebody go about, um, I see that you had a pre-sale today that launched, is that today, yesterday? Yeah. So we had, we originally were doing a pre-sale. Um, we just found that people weren't going to buy into it because we're doing the coins with IO. People were wanting to get into the exchange based IO. We actually have a private sale set up through our website. So you can buy at the pre-sale price directly okay. through us. You don't, you don't have to go through pink sale or whatever. You can go to our website. You sign up here. It does support KYC AML. So you can provide that. If your country provides it here, certain countries do, like Canada, you have to provide KYC AML for getting into private pre-sales. Other mm -hmm. countries don't. Um, okay. But you can buy directly through us and get immediate sent directly to the wallet. There's no waiting. There's no, we're not holding or vesting your token for X days. You just go okay. in and get it. But of course, you can get through the Nulls SEO if you have Nulls. Stake that and yes. get the benefits from uh, Nulls SEO as well. Perfect. And if anyone's interested, um, I have a video and I can probably do another video showing how to do a specific project. But I did post a video on how to stake from Nulls um, into the SEO project. So I'll link that down below. Title Global. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So our Twitter is also in the same name. It's at Title Global on Twitter. So you okay. can find us there. Um, you can also reach out to um, at Aki Ahmed. He's also on Twitter and I'm at Haxium Data on Twitter. So you can reach out to any of us as well or in our Telegram as well, which is under the same name, Title Global Limited. Always on. I'm usually on 18 hours a day. So you can always find me on <laughs> the questions. So. Perfect. I'll be sure to definitely drop all your socials that you mentioned. I'll put them in the comment below. Um, is there anything else that is maybe in the pipeline that's exciting that you can speak about right now? So we do have some other partnerships that we are not here. Uh, we did have, I can't name the, okay. the entity, of course, but there have been some higher level exchanges that have reached out to us with regards oh, of listing. Nice. Um, and they're in somewhere in the upper 20 on what you would see on coin market cap. That's all I can really give out at this time because we're still kind of discussing <laughs> type of things. They're very finicky with that. They want to be the ones to make those announcements, right? Because they get understand. the most. Yeah, they, they hold that power. I imagine they probably want to release yeah. that up to their, when they're yeah. ready. <laughs> yeah. And I guess the only other thing here is hack chain, which is part of our project. Um, this is, um, something that's in development. We're actually about 80% done that. And I want to hold a beta for Haxian Chain starting on the, near the end of May. So kind of around May 20th, May 25th, that kind of range. So we can get okay. some developers out to start working on that. I'll have more information, of course, on that when that comes around. Perfect. Well, I definitely have learned a lot. And if there's anything else that you want to, at last words, please do share. Title is going to be the biggest uh, project of 2022. And I'm saying that from my heart here. Um, so definitely get in with the Nulls SEO, start staking here. And just one thing as well, when you stick with the Nulls SEO or buy through our private sale, we're launching at Coinsbit at a 5X from the price that we have currently on Nulls SEO or on the private sale. It makes sense to get in now to get the absolute best benefit and most value for your title because we're certainly not going to stay at this price point once we launch. I agree. And now is there, um, are you able to, I guess one last question I'm thinking of it, is there any exchanges that you have in the pipeline that you're going to be launching on? So we definitely have Coinsbit. Uh, that's that's okay. why you're going to be launching on, we're doing the IO on May 10th and the launch should be right around the 18th or 19th. The IO ends the 17th, but they usually give a day afterwards so people can move funds over from their standard wallets to, into the actual exchange. And we are looking at potentially doing quick swap in the future, which is just a standard for Matic. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. And again, I just want to reiterate to the audience as well how important your data is, you guys. And you really don't want to be giving away your valuable, valuable asset for free. You should take charge of it and you should be getting paid. Money should be coming into your pockets and not these big corporate giants that are basically stealing your data and getting paid from it. So I am really excited about this project. Alexander, thank you so much for coming on today, taking time out of your busy hours. Um, I know your day's very busy. You're always online, got a lot to do. So I appreciate you spending a little time with me. Perfect. And thank you for having me here. It's great to talk about my project with you. Oh, I see someone is joining us. Yes. Hi.
back here, Ahmed. Hi, welcome. I've just come back. Well, we're really glad you're here. I I understand how important that is for you. So I'm sure your family doesn't want you to take away too much more time from them, but we appreciate you being here. Do you want to add something to what we've been discussing, what Tidal Global is all about? Uh, all I would like to say is that um, it's an amazing vision and it's a world-changing project. Tidal Global could benefit a lot of people from the ordinary normal person to big corporations. It could have, have a massive effect globally on the terms of having a, a decentralized version of Google and Microsoft, especially with what they do with data and how we are giving control back to the people uh, of their data. NFTs, I'm sure Haxian has, has, has spoke about, you know, our take on NFTs and what we're doing in terms of NFTs. Now, I believe I'm a, I'm a big NFT fan and, and, and I have been, you know, um, and, and I've got some, which I believe personally, some amazing uh, NFT collections that I've bought over time. But deep inside, it's always worried me that the current NFT scene is, is somewhat a trend, mm -hmm. you know? It's a trend and you know what trends are like. Right, yeah. they have a very, very, you know, short shelf life. Some yeah. are uh, very short, and some are slightly longer, uh, depending on what they are. And I, I think yes, some of the gaming and the metaverse things, which is the future now, uh, may have a little bit longer shelf life. Mm -hmm. But what Tidal Global is creating, the data NFT. This is real world NFT. Yes. NFTs that have true value in every single individual's life, everyone's life it affects. And this is why we believe that when it comes to NFTs, Tidal Global has absolutely cracked the future of NFTs. And that's all I've got to say to this. Thank you. <laughs> so much for having us and I, and, and I apologize I missed most of it but uh, I'm glad I caught the end part yes yes definitely and I I couldn't agree more with you having nft with actual utility real world utility and not to mention a a problem that needed to be solved that you know is being solved here getting money back into the pockets of the people who own the information. It's your own absolutely. information. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, this, I believe that uh, my, my best friend, actually, I should give him uh, the credit. Uh, he's not, I don't know if he's been on today with you, Scott. He came up with the core concept of it all, you know, um, and, and hats off to him because, you know, this problem that is there, uh, you know, uh, it has not been addressed for years and years, you know, where people's data is being uh, violated in, in, in many ways, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad that, you know, myself, Scott, Axian, uh, together, you know, we are having this opportunity to, to do something about it, to create a platform where we can address that issue and, and give people their rights back, you know, of their own data. Yes, it's very exciting. We would love to have you guys back on down the road in the future and we'll rendezvous back to uh, where you are in that time and see how everything is going with Tidal Global. I love to have you back on. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you so much <laughs> for being on. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm very excited for your project. I, for one, will be staking some of my tokens into your SEO. So I'm excited. We'll be keeping up with your progress and how everything's going. And we'll follow back Perfect. up soon, I hope. <laughs> Thank you. Look forward to it. Yes. Have an amazing day. You too. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was an amazing show, if I must say. I am really excited, you guys, to see what Title Global is doing. I'm really excited. I am going to be following them and 
really seeing what is going on with the project. I'll be happy to give you guys updates. Drop me in the comments. Tell me what you thought of the show. Um, what do you think about Title Global? Does it sound like something that you're interested in? If you are, like he said, be sure to reach out to them on their website at titleglobal.com if you want to be an investor. Um, I will be investing. I am very excited about this um, project and uh, I'll be bringing you guys updates. If you're not already following me, be sure to follow me on Twitter and uh, I will be back again, you guys, very soon with another episode of Piece of the Pie, or I should say Chai with Pie, and uh, I will be bringing you another episode soon with another really cool guest. If you have some guest suggestions that should be on the show, drop it in the comments down below. I love to reach out to them, or if you can reach out to them for me, that would be awesome as well. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks again for being here. I hope you have an awesome day as well. I will catch you on the next show on Piece of the Pie, where I will be helping you get your piece of the pie. Until next time, bye, you guys. Anything I say, it's not financial advice. This is meant to be used for educational purposes. I hope you found it helpful, informative, and you'll get a chance to check out this project. It piques some interest and you'll go check it out.